is uh, just coming in on the crisis in Syria. U.N. chemical weapons inspectors are now planning to go back to take another look at Syria. They're going to follow up on more allegations of chemical weapons use there. Leland Vittert is live in Jerusalem on this for us. So, Leland, what do we know today? Martha, this is all about building a case as to whether chemical weapons were used, not necessarily who used them. Remember in August when the chemical weapons inspectors were on the ground, they were actually there to look about an attack that happened back in March. But that's when they got retasked because of the August chemical weapons attack. They went out in the suburbs of Damascus and allegedly found that sarin gas had been used. The problem is now as they come back sometime late September, early October to do more research about the original attacks in March, it's going to be very difficult to find evidence as the evidence tends to degrade over time. Also look at how the world has changed since they were originally tasked with finding out if chemical weapons were used. The United States has largely taken airstrikes off the table in terms of punishing President Assad. At the same time, the Syrians have talked about giving up their chemical weapons. So even if in a couple of weeks or months, the UN inspectors come back and say, yes, there were chemical weapons that were used, hard to tell how that really changes things in the worldview going forward. Martha? In terms of the rebels, Leland, uh, the moderate rebels that were supposedly vetted uh, and supported by the CIA and others, are they making any headway in this at this point? The moderate rebels, certainly not. The only on the battlefield gain seem to be coming from the more jihadist backed rebels. They're the ones who still have the better firepower, also a little bit better intelligence and better fighters themselves. And sometimes they're actually fighting the moderate rebels in addition to fighting the Assad regime. The Assad regime is, of course, more than happy to let everybody fight it out on the ground between themselves. And remember, we're right now transitioning from the summer offensive into fall and winter and as things get colder the regime forces begin to take over a much more strategic advantage simply because of the weather the terrain and their training we'll have to see how the next couple of months play out martha all right leland thank you we are